about NVIDIA, right? Yeah. So you want to talk about um, how they're going to be an anchor investor in ARM's possibly IPO? I mean, is that back huh? on the on the stove again? <laughs> the IPO is on the stove. The the anchoring, uh, being an anchor investor is it's it's um, let's call it a very well founded and well sourced rumor. Um, okay. It's it's uh, which leads me to believe, and it makes sense when you think about. Um, you know, NVIDIA's attempt to uh, to acquire ARM back, geez, I guess it was two years ago now, yeah. um, shut down by the regulators. It makes perfect sense. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it was also rumored that Intel was going to be one of the anchor investors. And I don't know if that was dismissed or it just kind of became a little bit more quiet when the the word of or the news of NVIDIA came out. It's uh, it makes perfect sense, right? And there are a couple of things to take out of it. It shows you how critical um, a healthy arm is to NVIDIA. When you look at Grace Hopper uh, yeah. and you look at NVIDIA's long-term strategy, it's um, you know their their CPU is built around ARM Neoverse, yeah. and uh, yeah. they if they don't have that available, that uh, that puts a big chink in their um, in their uh, in their strategy. That's part one. Part two, it shows the importance of ARM to the marketplace in general, mm -hmm. or the relevance of ARM in the marketplace. Uh, you know, it's a, I think they're like 4% of the cloud market now, which isn't huge, Yeah. but it's 4% and it's 4% with a bullet. It's growing very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see the announcements they've made with Oracle around supporting enterprise database uh, in the enterprise. You see the announcements they made with uh, HPE and the ProLiant RL300. Um, yeah. You see what Novo has done with them. And you got to think that Dell is doing something in the background, right? Because oh, sure. I mean, yeah. if, if the other two are doing it, Dell's got to be doing something. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's, I, I really think this is, uh, it's, it's, this speaks to the importance of ARM and a healthy ARM in mm -hmm. the understanding of the marketplace of that. The other thing I would say is I'm a man of analogies today, um, you are. just like I talked about uh, <laughs> antivirus. You know, um, I'm not I'm not as um, experienced as Paul in this space, but I can remember back in the the mid '90s when there was this when Unix, you know, whether it was um, Spark Systems or HPUX or IBM with AIX, ruled the data center. And there was this this little chip company that was starting, you know, made PCs, and was starting to take low end um, workloads away from Unix, file and print, directory services, like the really kind of not compute intensive. And I remember the big debate at the time around how this company was never going to be able to become prominent in the data center because they just couldn't compete with the performance of of um, of the big guys, right, Sun and and so on and so forth. And 30 years later, Intel and x86 rules the data center, right? That was the company back then. Yeah. And the same arguments that are being that were made about Intel back in the day are being made about ARM today. Sure. Um, and but ARM, what's different is ARM has proven its ability to perform, um, you know, competitively with with those yeah. x86 guys out there. So, you know, it's going to be really fun to watch over the next few years as. Um, as this IPO gets figured out, as the company find its, it finds its footing and the part finds its place within the data center, the enterprise data center, it's going to be really fun to watch. It's good. For I think it is too, Matt, you know, and, you know, and I see a lot of innovation that gets sort of, you know, spun out of um, ARM. You know, I spoke recently with Edge uh, Q. They're doing um, basically a base station on a chip and it's a really uh, innovative design. I wrote a Forbes article about it using um, ARM and RISC uh, to do some pretty amazing things. And so, you know, I one of my famous, you know, lines that I like to use um, is, you know, competition breeds innovation. And I think having a healthy ARM in the mix is, is good for, for everyone. 